Okay, so I'm going to walk you through Big Mac. There's a zip file and it's also on the shell server. So I've downloaded that zip file and I've unzipped it with 7-zip and it turns out that that's really important because what 7-zip is going to do is it's going to preserve these file times. We'll see more about that later. But if you just right click on this thing and unzip it, these file times will be set to today and you'll note that they're last April from April 2019. Okay, so I've also loaded this program into Ghidra. We'll look here at the main method. What the main method does is it's going to open flag.txt for reading. And if it can't find it, it says, please make sure this is run on the shell server. It probably does some munging of that flag file. It says work is done, and then it does this listdir. So listdir is going to walk through the files you'll see that it's recursive, so it can go through folders as well. If its parameter is zero, it's going to hide something in the file. And if its parameter is one, it's going to call decode bytes. Now, if we go back and look here, we'll see that lister is called with local 14. Local 14 is zero. So this thing is always going to hide the bytes. But if we look at lister, and we show the references to it, we see that there are three of them. So one of these is from main. One of these is the recursive call inside of Lister as it traverses folders. But one of these is in fact in this undefined function 401 AFE, which is actually called decode, but somehow Ghidra doesn't transfer that name over here. So what this is going to do is we'll call Lister with one Presumably what it's doing up here is important somehow in getting Lister ready. And so that should decode. So if I can just get execution at this decode method, I should be able to get the flag. Okay, so we'll start debugging here in WinBag. We'll use main.exe. We're gonna set the start directory to be the folder where it is. And here we go. Okay, so it started. We've got a little breakpoint. So if I look at main, let's go back to main. That's the lister. I don't want to get past here where it tries to read the flag file because that won't work out well for us. So, so we scroll down. I'm going to stop execution right here at this first call at 1c20. So I'll set a breakpoint, main plus 0x, 1c20. Hit go. Right, so there's the breakpoint. And then I said I wanted it to go to that decode method I found. So that decode method I found was at 1afe. So we'll just set EIP to main plus 0x1afe, and then we'll just hit go. Look over here, and it's printed out the value of decode is picoctf mac time. So basically what it's done here is it's encoded things in the times that the file has stored. And we'll take a look at that here in the encode bytes. Uh, here in hide in file. Come on. You'll see that it gets the file time, it does some encoding, it sets the file time. So what it was doing was it's hiding data in those file times. And as I mentioned, that's why it was really important that we unzip this with 7-zip instead of just using the built-in window zip because the file times would be wrong. So let's see, let's get that flag back. Edit, mark, bam, paste, and there we go. 